All right, hello and welcome to another deck highlight video. Uh, today, I wanted to look at this fun card, Adam Warlock, the card that everyone hates and no one uses. Uh, he has the text of after each turn, draw a card if you're winning here. Uh, and he's a 2-0, so obviously he can't win the lane on his own. So I thought, well, what's a deck that you want a lot of cards or you need like some sort of combo piece? And I thought, what better card than Hitmonkey? Hitmonkey loves playing a lot of cards. So let's shove a bunch of cheap to free cards in the deck and throw in Hitmonkey and make a fun deck. So the thought process here is obviously we have Wasp, Yellow Jacket, Thor. Thor gives us Mjolnir. That means we have three zero cost cards in hand. We can Jain those cards out of the deck to give us three cards that we can play with Hitmonkey and that only costs. So we'd play four cards for three energy. We then would have Forge and Elsa that we could also play on that turn, giving us five, yeah, five other cards besides Hitmonkey to play that turn, making him a 3-12. Obviously, this is a pretty ideal case. So for games that we don't have Jane, we have Adam Warlock to give us a bunch of power. We have two ways of utilizing Adam Warlock. Well, we have a few ways. Uh, a way that you'll see in the deck is I Yellow Jacket, then Adam Warlock on turn two. Uh, since a lot of decks don't really play that up tempo, being able to play just two power into your Adam Warlock lane will typically win you the lane, at least getting you one card draw. And honestly, getting one or two card draws out of your Adam Warlock uh, is a massive like win in my opinion. Like you get a lot of tempo and a lot of like, your synergies going if you can get one or two card draws. We also then have Bast or Forge. Bast will set him to three power and Forge will set him to two power. Uh, the downsides with that is Bast uh, can hit Jane Foster, <laughs> as you will see, um, which is obviously a very bad thing to have happened, uh, but it's not really that big of a deal in like all things considered. Uh, and then we also just have magic to extend the game a little bit so that way we can like Sarah on five and then Valkyrie on six or Jane on six. Um, a lot, you could see me a few times go Jane, you Sarah on five, Jane on six with Bast on six. So that way Jane will pull Mjolnir and all the zero costs, then Bast will set them all to three to give a really big spike in power. Um, but yeah, I think the only thing that maybe is a little confusing is Valkyrie and that's just saying, that's just... Uh, we can play like all of our zero costs into one lane and then Valkyrie the lane uh, for five energy. You can play four cards in Valka lane. Uh, so that can be very powerful and catch your opponent off guard. Uh, I do not do that in this video, but it is something that you could do. Anyway, I think that's it for the introduction. If you guys enjoy, please leave a like and comment letting me know and subscribe for future deck highlights. Also, comment on the... Uh, question I ask at the beginning of the video. Anyway, I'll see you in the gameplay. Alright, hopping into the first one, and I, I'm going to be honest, I need your guys' collective help on something. I am very frustrated and tired of lockdown. I'm very tired of Eliath existence. Like, I just hate it. I need help figuring out what is the counterplay to that card. Like, I... I might just be too stupid to understand how you counterplay it. Also, Weird World is terrible for me, so unless he plays my magic, we're doomed. Um, like I just need to figure out how to counter that card. So if you guys have any ideas, please let me know because I truly don't know what to do. Also, I'm not going to destroy. I'm not going to use any destroy cards until. Um, I have death or null in hand because he could have gotten the death and null and I don't want to deal with that. These are both his cards though. Wait. He should have four of his cards. So there's two more. Yeah, he could have death or null or both. So I don't want to destroy things until I know where they are. Because that is his four because I have a variant. That's number three. The question is, does he have a destroy card? Because I have two. He could have Killmonger or Carnage. My statement stands. Um, we do this to just buff up these two cards a little bit. 
But yeah, if you guys have any ideas on how to counter this locked up, lock down Eliath, Alioth, meta, meta that we're in, like, I would love it. Like, I understand, oh, run armor, run Cosmo, stupid, but it's like, it doesn't matter unless you have, like, a way of winning Storm or Professor X. Hey, wait. Carnage? Okay. We know all the cards. So we're fine to destroy now without having any repercussions. Because we know that he doesn't have death or destroy. Or death or uh, no. Now with that being said, we also don't have either of those cards. Uh, Venom is going to get buffed up by Elsa here, which is going to be nice. Uh, and then we'll be able to fill whatever lane Wolverine bounces to. Hopefully the answer to that is not into the same lane, because that would be pretty not good. Bounce anywhere else. Thank you. Alright, what does this do? Um, that's just the most power I can play. Uh, I mean, I guess an option I have is that, because that makes Nico 8 actually, so that's better. He doesn't have Killmonger because he's played Carnage, Forge, Deadpool, Hulkbuster, and I only had four of my cards, so we should be good. And we win because we're up by seven left. <laughs> Easy. And then even if I played monkey middle, we still would have won. Well, that's game one, even though you didn't really get to see my deck, you more saw my deck played against me. Yeah, so on the alive tangent again, my only real thought as to, oh, this is definitely how you counter this card was Echo, I think is really good because you can Echo a lane and then it forces them to either kill one of their ongoing cards effectively or it prevents a Professor X play from happening. Um, so I think like that is an idea that probably has merit to it. Um, I, the issue being I, I don't have Echo. so. Uh, there's only so much merit to, but I, mm -hmm, okay, like, really? Back to back, T two games in a row. Do this, the next turn we Elsa Wasp. It's the game plan. They probably have more power. So we're gonna. Nope, 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 nope. That's the winner. Maximus and Doc Ock. I'm guessing this is someone trying to use Gladiator, but I, I don't know. That's an interesting way to play Gladiator. Make it so they don't have any cards in their deck. Glad you can't pull a card if there's no cards there to pull. Got him. Wind aid my hand. Uh, Doc Ock Odin middle? Question mark? Doc Ock Odin middle? I don't know what he has that he's snapping because I'm looking at my deck. Okay, well, we're pulling three cards into that storm, so let's see, <laughs> see what gets pulled. Okay. 
Hey, my magic. Mjolnir, to me. Magento. I don't think I've ever heard that audio line from Odin before. That was interesting. Hey, nice Mjolnir. Just kidding. It sucked. Um, so we hobgoblin this turn. And then we have a bunch of miscellaneous garbage in our hand, which is cool. Hold on a second. Hold on just a minute, Buster. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Victory. That checks out, I guess. Back to back weird worlds is weird. Um, anyway, I'll be here all week. Um, what? Oh, maybe you're talking about the profile icon. I don't really know what he was doing that for. But I'll do it back. I'm a kind soul. Getting the Elsa set up early feels good. Uh, oh, he's running Phoenix Force. Okay, got it. I'm I'm not. I'm a fake. I'm a fraud. Um, I think we just magic TVA now. Because I figured he would already just kind of panic a little bit. Maybe he's a pure move. I don't know. This This looks like... Uh, Phoenix Force, though. Why is this? It's a cool variant. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to play anything this turn. I think I'm going to Sarah next turn and then Bast on six. Uh, because these are the two cards that I really don't want to Bast. And, like, all these cards are really good to Bast. Because I can Bast Jane on six. Which will be good. So he does have Phoenix Force. Which is tough. I think I'll play Sarah in here just to protect from Enchantress on 6. Like I said, this is probably Phoenix Force. I don't think I have to worry about that. Um, but it doesn't hurt to be cautious. So I fast, and then I'll chain here. I could go for a ballsy uh, Valkyrie play, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'll just Valkyrie later. I think it's fine. Deathlock. Pop the Nimrods around. Uh, that's huge. That is so huge that he just did that. Okay. Um, I can play my entire hand. So it comes down to order of operations more than anything else. He already played Venom and Deathlock and Carnage. Okay, so unless he has a Destroyer, he can't kill the Nimrods anymore. So with that information, this... <laughs> How much power can I generate? If I do this, 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 how much power is that? Uh, three plus five plus five, so 13 power. <sighs> but 
I think if I went like three or something dumb. Probably just not worth it, I would guess. If we had hit monkey, I probably would be more confident because we could have Valkyrie this lane played. We could play like Yellow Jacket Valkyrie this lane. And then we could have lost hit monkey another lane. It's very unfortunate that like our two very big cards are the cards that we didn't have in hand there. All right, hopping into another one. Uh, Jane Foster being in hand is inherently not good. However, hitting Adam Warlock for draws is very good. So I don't care. I'm doing it anyway. Uh, we can magic left. Stop. Okay, we're chill. Uh, we should probably Thor first. Um, we're throwing middle because because we just got cloak, which is pretty good. Gladiator, pull Mjolnir. <laughs> oh yeah, Gladiator is a card that is in the game. It's so true. Um, this should give us another Jane. Hell, even maybe another Thor? Right? The first two cards were Jane and Thor? <laughs> Heck yeah. That's so clutch, honestly. Uh, yeah, that's like really good because we can get uh, a second Mjolnir probably. If we play right, next turn we can Thor Jane. Go Thor here, Jane here, and then we can start slapping down some Mjolnir's. I'm not gonna snap because I want them to play the game, um, but I'm in a really good position. That's fine. I only have a Wasp in my deck. I only have a Wasp and a Mjolnir, so we're chilling in that front. And so Basting Jane was fine because we got our other Jane back. Um, we aren't going to have any draws, so the hand we're looking at is the hand we're going to get. So our best play here is uh, Elsa. Elsa Mjolnir Mjolnir is, is our best play. Elsa left Mjolnir Mjolnir. Me Mjolnir. Okay. Wait, we're adding 12 middle to put us to 20. We're adding 14. We're adding 4 here. So we go up to 16. We go up to 20 here. And we go up to 25 here. So they have to add 6 here. They have to add 7 here. 8 here. And they have to add a lot there too. I mean, like destroyer middle could lose us the game. No, destroyer middle doesn't lose, but it gets it gets ugly. Destroyer middle is closer than I want it to be. Okay. Oh, baby. Man, this is the answer to the purple fart cloud. This is the deck that is is the answer. Victory. It feels so good to be a winner. I hate this card. 
Alright, hopping into another one. Probably getting into the waning moments of the video, but that's fine. Um, Forge would be pretty spicy here. Or, eh, it's kind of fine without it. Oh, baby, actually. Hold on. I love that. Love that. The thing is, they probably can test the Abbey, so we probably don't also- Oh my lord! Give me the cards, baby! Holy! Look at these cards. Have you ever seen so many cards in one place? I haven't. Look at that. Three card draws on the same turn. Only this card lets you do that. It's not true. I know. Don't have to say it so loud. Uh, I'm probably just gonna, like, I'm not worried about keeping Warlock going. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna play Thor middle, but I'm not like... Thor middle is about as far as I'm pushing this. And then I'm gonna Sarah right, and then Jane left, and then we're in business. Hey, oh, we get a card draw. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Should we talk about it? Well, there's Mjolnir. I still will play Jane because Jane is just a big stick of pa- There's seven slots <laughs> on the board right now. So yeah, I, I have to play Jane now. Wait. If I pull Bast this turn, I Bast actually. No! That's fine. I pulled past this turn, I still passed. It didn't actually affect me. Oh wait, duh, I get past. The week. I get Jane and Bast, actually. And then that would leave me five cards to play, which is the rest of my hand. I think that's the play. I do that. Buff all these cards. And then blow up the board. And we make sure that we play Elf <laughs> first. Uh, so, dude, Wong just terrifies me. Like, I have nothing in this deck that can deal with it. Jane was just for a stat stick. She did nothing, I understand. Okay. It's a Dark Hawk. It's fine. Um. So ooh, we Elsa, then we Wasp, then we Forge, Hit Monkey, Mjolnir. That is 11 power middle. Okay. If we. It, <laughs> It feels weird uh, to say, but we like actually winning middle would be the best because it looks like I'd imagine with the Korg they're a Dark Hawk deck, so they're gonna like rock slide something. Okay. Um, what I said was I'm delusional and don't ever listen to me because I don't know what I'm talking about. Um. Is one of these like Shadow King and I'm gonna cry? Uh, how does that work? We're fine! Let's go! Victory. Man, that's so sad. I should have... <laughs> I should have bastarded Thor, so that way he juked the Shang. You would only have been 9 power if I bastarded him. Damn it! Alright, hopping in to the last one. Win or lose, do or die. Give me Wasp. Oh, that's fine. We still bast. We ride. Have you ever seen Adam Warlock give so many cards in one video? Probably not. And yes, I have this card split. I just hate the split. It looks so unbelievably ugly. Uh, it's so unbelievably not good. But the issue is I have to play middle. If they call him wing middle, I'm gonna cry. Okay, sick. We're chilling. We ride. Um, well, 
That's not that good. I mean, Nexus with our current setup, Nexus is like fine. I don't love it, but it's it's fine. Uh, all right, Valkyrie, you're a dead card. Congratulations. Uh, I'm thinking we Jane Nexus and then we spew our hand and then hit monkey middle. It's the. Do we have to play a card this turn? I don't think we do. We have to make sure we. No, okay, wait, hold on. We have to make sure we have two slots open and. Yeah, so I do have to play Elsa just so that way Jane can pull Wasp and Mjolnir next turn. Obviously, there's a chance that we pull Wasp just like naturally this turn, but uh, I, I needed to keep my hand open. And that's good. They took the Warlock play away because I really didn't want Warlock. To... Okay, so I could have kept Elsa in hand. Um, with Wasp throwing up, I could have kept Elsa. But obviously, like, why risk that? Um, I'll snap back because I'm pretty sure it's a pot. Hell yeah! I didn't see what the calling wing hit. What did it hit? Yeah, one. Okay, so ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. we go this. Hmm. This. 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 That is the play line. Uh, actually, I lied. We go this, 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 this. That's the right play line because we we care more about left than right. Uh, and this is a butt ton of power, so we're fine. You coward! Victory. We definitely won that. Uh, like, I don't even think Modok wins them that. Like, they don't have Storm in hand, because they are a psychopath, possibly a bot. Um, which is weird, because we went on like a five game winning streak, I don't know why I'm playing a bot. Uh, but that was going to be a very explosive finish, which is sad that they retreated. Anyway, that will probably be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and comment letting me know and giving me a tip on how to counter Alioth, please. Uh, and if you did enjoy, please consider subscribing for future deck highlights. I'm going to be posting one in the next couple days reviewing another deck that I think could be a fun change up to the meta. But anyway, I'll see you in the next one.